Editor guys, um, I have the game itself loaded in here. Uh, I will be showing you how to get uh, maps, vmaps, dbc, and mmaps folders. Uh, we go to build and we go to the executables we just had. Uh, map extractor, this maps generator, this one and this one. And I'm going to copy them. Copy, I go into the game itself. I'm going to paste it. And from here, I have an important link I want to mention. It's called uh, extractor.bat. Uh, you need this in order to make your life a lot easier. Uh, go to copy and create a new uh, new text file. And I'll just call it whatever I want to call it executable.bat. You rename the txt into bat and you press save. Yes, I am familiar with what this extension does and you go to edit uh this is notepad not notepad plus plus it doesn't really matter we will not be editing it too much uh it's not what we care about i'm gonna save it and I'm gonna close it now i'm gonna be opening it and as you can see we have a very simple uh order of things instead of manually opening one by one because one depends on the previous one and this one depends on this one which depends on this one basically all these dependencies are being overrun with this one when we press four extract everything first start with this then skip to this then skip to this uh yeah it's uh it's a lot of fun now what we do need to make sure is that the first one is it runnable it might require a dll file but no it does not so gonna close it and gonna run it yep. now this can take quite a bit of time I hope not too much <laughs> but yeah it, it can take a bit of time uh, in the meanwhile I wanna um, mention a few things related to this one is relevant uh, related to the database itself uh, in order to have an account we need to have the correct realm uh, if you're familiar with the game when you first uh, execute the game itself you can see the realm selector the realm name is coming from the um, World of Warcraft data in US is the version I have and the realm list one okay so whenever you have the realm list set to uh, a specific server it fetches the information from one server into another in my case my IP is 213.136 uh, dot a two dot seven two uh, and this is the address I need to modify if I want to make my address public, if I want to make my server public. Uh, I want to name it server lands testing. And that is basically it. Now, please notice that this runs a different thing. Uh, so we're going to need to close it and restart it. to build bin release with debug information and I can run it and it will run exactly this server lens testing um, well that might be cool that you can name it whatever you want uh, that's not all the port is extremely important to notice 8085 now in order to make your server uh, public you will need a few things First of all, you will need, if you host it through a, a VPS or a dedicated server, you will need to make sure that they offer such a such an option. 
uh, pretty much everyone I ever used allow it by default, so you don't really need to mention it. Uh, the only thing that blocks you from doing so is probably their internal uh, firewall, which you should have access to a spe specific UI to it. You can just contact your uh, support. They should help you with it. Very simple. Uh, and the internal VPS um, firewall. So let's go to Windows Defender Firewall. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to exclude a few specific ports. Um, we're going to allow access and I'm going to make sure that when people want to come into our server, they are permitted. So the firewall will not block block um, everything that you might uh, might expect. So to do that, uh, open ports. Yeah, this is the site. You get signal and we can check 8085. 8085 is currently disabled. First of all, because all the uh, world server is, is not online. Second of all, because it's not being forwarded. Now what we do have active is 3036. This one is active because the very fact we have connected and the very fact we have the specified port 3036 enabled uh, means that we can have access to it locally. However, this is relevant for users as well. When we have it set to local usage only, it will not be transparent to other people externally unless we permit it so. That means that whenever we have an account that is being set to local usage only, no one but our specific IP, which is 107.0.0.1, can access to it. Our local host is identical to 107.0.0.1. Um, if we change this local host into this IP, we will be able to log into root account from everywhere. Um, so in case you're afraid of getting your root account hacked don't worry about it just don't make it public this is the only account that should have super admin uh, privileges it has access to everything and this is the only account that should have access to everything now to make your uh, mysql server public we will need to make sure that this server is not being blocked by the firewall how we do that we go to firewall settings like we did just now and we go to um, inbound rules and going to create a new rule. <coughs> We're gonna exclude a few rules. We're gonna be using TCP, not UDP. TCP. Now the rules we the ports we wanna unblock are three three zero six. This is off. 38085, uh, which is world server, 3724, which is off server, and possibly 80 in case you want to have a website stored on this machine, not recommended, but still a possibility. So I'm going to hit next, allow the connection. We can block the connection as well in case we want to make sure no one ever interacts with the server. And it just mark it as whoa setup. that should be the name and now it didn't find 3036 previously but will it find it now there you go now it's open yeah this will take quite a bit of time uh, I will be pausing the video and resuming it back when it's uh, when it's done.